Hello friends, welcome to our tricks. Today we are going to build a nickel cadmium or nickel magnesium hydride battery charger. So for building that we need few components you can see on the screen. One transistor BC548, one green LED, 1K resistance, 10K resistance, 4007 and 120 ohms resistance. So only these many components are required to build. Now First of all, what we have to do, uh, we will take the transistor and turn the legs both opposite side. You can see on the screen, then join to the resistance of 10K um, and shoulder this at center and align it something like this, which you can see on the screen. Solder it out, one solder is done. Then what we have to do is we have to take a wire having USB A type at one end and out. The terminal will go to left side leg of the transistor joined with resistance and negative leg will go to the end of the resistance. Already the center point is joined to the transistor and see on the video. Now to the green LED on the negative pin add 1k resistor and something like this you can see screen. Positive leg will go to the collector of transistor where positive wire, red wire is connected and negative will go to the other end where black wire is connected. Now we need this dot in forward by situation where that strip will be towards outside where we can take the output. Black part of the diode will be connected to the emitter of transistor. See here in the video I am pointing with the finger. Our other side is used to take the voltage be the positive one it will be common for both i have connected a multimeter was the output we are converting 5 volt to 1.7 volt see two extra wires which is white and gray white connected to positive gray connected to negative they are just a pro wire they are being used to monitor the voltage since the end of other wire would be connected to magnets which can be used to just connect the battery. Now, small modification and added a 22 ohms resistor in parallel with diode to increase the voltage a little bit since we are charging at very low speed voltage to affect the battery. The 22 ohms is in parallel here in the video. Connecting this resistor, the voltage has jumped to 1.87 from 1.7. This voltage can be used for the we have a battery potential has dropped to 1.06 volt we will charge this battery using the kit field. we have two magnets taken out from earphone and these magnets will be connected to battery terminals since the battery terminals are clean, they will easily stick to them and start charging our battery so here you can see how the battery is connected the negative terminal is visible and the positive one is out of the frame the way how the battery will get connected now i'll quickly pause the video and connect the terminals for measuring voltage here you can see the voltage at the battery is 3.4 or 1.5 it will increase gradually and it will reach around 1.8 the battery is fully charged so this is how we build this kind of circuit like this video subscribe to our channel the video to your friends and family